Welcome to another day of me trying to implement all my blood sugar learnings without my CGM. It was another beautiful morning and this time when I came for breakfast, I took a table right next to the ocean. As soon as I walked into the buffet, I was again enticed by croissants, pastries, donuts, cakes and waffles. But I started breakfast with fiber, fats and proteins first so that a nice base can be created. And then I had a freshly made waffle with maple syrup and also a blueberry lemon pastry that I swear to God was staring at me at the buffet. I personally prefer indulging when I see something nice. It's just that I try and do it smartly, like having it after proteins, fats and fiber so that the glucose spike can be controlled. After breakfast, I went for a 15 minute walk, which frankly I would have avoided because the sun was right on top of my head. But I did have the waffle and the pastry and I wanted to compensate. I then went for a quick swim and when I came back to the villa, I had a black coffee without sugar because that does not increase blood sugar levels. But when I found myself snacking on these amazing granola bars, I decided to go have a proper lunch because I was getting hungry. And yes, I did use a buggy because till now I haven't tested the impact of going for a walk before a meal on blood sugar levels. Death High restaurant literally looks like a tree house and I took a table right at the top with an amazing sea view. I ordered Pad Thai but I requested them to add additional vegetables to the dish to increase fiber to the otherwise high carb meal. And I had a cocktail because the glass was unique. I like to schedule some sort of activity after lunch to cut down the post meal spike. So I walked to the beach for a 30 minute jet ski session, which was amazing. Then evening came along and I rushed back to my villa to order some dinner. And for some reason, I landed up ordering avocado toast. In hindsight, I should have ordered something more exciting. But the good news was that they loaded it up with avocados and veggies, which made it a little difficult to eat. Yes, but they definitely helped in reducing the glucose spike from the bread. It's all about balancing. For dessert, I had some freshly cut fruits and that was the end of the day.